despicable. Have you ever been to Australia? You don't have to have gone to Australia to know it's a fag nation. The Phelps family of Kansas and their faithful followers of the Westboro Independent Baptist Church. It's God's curse against the nation awash in sin. Spreading hatred in God's name. Do you know what my children say when you drive, when I, they drive by Whatever here? you taught them to say. No, no. Your evil no. black heart. They claim God mostly hates homosexuals, but it seems no one is safe from damnation. Catholics, Jews, politicians, divorcees, even entire countries. Australia is Sodom in the Pacific, and we got a map of it, sh shaped like, kind of like a fat weenie. You know how the Australian map looks right in the big middle of the ocean? Well. Uh, we've got Sodom written across it, S-O-D-O-M. We're doomed. Oh, absolutely you're doomed. That's right, you're all going to hell. And apparently, God especially hates me. If you loved God, you'd keep his commandments. And so far what you've done is you've made a kind of, a, you've kind of mocked that whole standard. You've got the Lord mad at you. Oh, clearly. 81-year-old Fred Phelps is head of the haters. They call him Gramps, the patriarch and founder of Whisperer. I still don't understand why it's homosexuals that you focus on. Why isn't it murderers or, you know... Because they admit they're sinners. Homosexuals are walking abominations in the estimate of God. And I'm not interested in anybody else's estimate. God's estimate. And God hates fags, which is a profound Bible truth. Anybody that doesn't believe God hates fags, doesn't believe the Bible, ergo, they're going to hell. That's my message. God put it in your wicked heart to start that war. Since 1955, this disbarred lawyer has publicly attacked anyone who strays outside his own particular version of God's law. Him shall God destroy. Aren't you, you the most hated family do, in America? Do, yeah, uh, Lord, I hope so. What a compliment you're paying me, except uh, the last time somebody said that to me and wanted to know, did that make you mad? And I said, yeah, it made me mad because what you sh should have done was say we're, we're the most hated family in the world. All right, we got a broken window. Provocative he may be, but until now, it's been easy to dismiss Phelps and his group. But this small band of religious zealots recently forced America to examine its very constitution when the US Supreme Court classified their vile pickets and placards as freedom of speech. We would have been sued and lost and put in jail if we had been preaching this stuff in England and Australia. And that's because England and Australia are past any hope. Oh, we They've spit in the face of God for the last time. Whisperer's philosophy might be small-minded, but they think big when it comes to causing maximum offense. You all hate one another, and we love you. I enjoy serving the Lord my God. No, you enjoy being offensive. Nope. You love it when there's pain and anguish. No. You do. What I love is this. I love knowing that what I have is I have the Bible on my side and you've got bupkis, woman. You've got bupkis for your position. What is bupkis? Zero, zilch, nada. I got Bible. Steve Drain has been with Westboro for the past 10 years. He's the mastermind behind some of the church's nastiest work. When he's not adding to the collection of offensive signs, he's creating mock music videos, hoping they'll go viral. God's gonna stand there and put you back. That's alright because you wouldn't heed his word. Oh, wicked land of Sodom. They revel in catastrophe. The more tragic, the better. Believing disaster is God's vengeful hand at work. You thank God for September 11th because it is one more sign 
that the return of the Lord Jesus Christ is at hand. You rejoice in what you call Godsmacks. Godsmacks, Godsmacks, no question. Uh, and what, what, the, what the people of the world will do is they'll say, oh, that's Mother Nature. Mother Nature, it's God. It's God kicking your ass for your sin. The fire of God's wrath is sending hundreds of those filthy Australian beasts straight to hell. And we are praying for the dear Lord to burn many more Australians alive. Everything from Heath Ledger's death to our recent natural disasters are retribution for Australia's sins. The bushfires, the floods in Australia, right. Heath, Heath Ledger's death, in your opinion, are all a good thing. I love them. I don't just like them. I love them, and I thank God for them. God hates America and all of her military. But of all Westboro's stunts, it's this picketing the funerals of soldiers that brought Fred Phelps and his followers the national attention they always craved. America prides itself on its constitution, and in particular, its right to freedom of speech. So when Westboro Church decided to picket the funeral of US Marine Matthew Snyder, a 20-year-old soldier killed in Iraq, the First Amendment was sorely tested. Steeped in unimaginable grief, the young soldier's father, Albert Snyder, was outraged. He took Westboro to court, saying the church was not just being offensive, it was abusing its right to freedom of speech. They took the one opportunity that I had to bury my only son and ruin it for their personal gain. Matthew was Albert Snyder's only son. He wasn't the first father who saw a loved one's funeral marred by Westboro, but he was the first to fight back. I imagine you are a staunch believer in that First Amendment. I am very much a believer in the First Amendment, but I don't think the First Amendment should be able to allow someone to hurt another person intentionally. You're standing there with signs saying... Um, Thank God for dead soldiers? Exactly. Pray for more dead soldiers? Exactly. Your sons are in hell? Exactly. Yeah, we're saying that because all those things are true. But if that was my child, my overwhelming desire would be to jam that sign where the sun don't shine. That's the way everybody does. And you would feel that too, no, surely. I, I never would feel that way. In the end, the Supreme Court ruled that Westboro's voice, no matter how unpleasant, was protected by the First Amendment. This is freedom of speech. To the American people, it's not. It's an abuse of the First Amendment. Are you not inciting hatred and vilifying people when you use this freedom of speech? It's what God has given us. God's a great out. No, it's not a great out. The way I look you at look it, at it because I've got God on my side, so I'm, therefore I can do whatever I is please. It, is, it, is it normal in Australian journalism to tell the other person what they think? That's what you do. Right now, now, we're going. It's time to go. And it's okay. being handed down to a new generation. Members of the Westboro Church deliberately use their children to spread their message. You know, they kept drilling in our heads that like we're supposed to like make them angry. We're supposed to make them like, you know, hate us. That was our goal. To be hated was a good thing. Yeah, it was the goal. I kind of Lauren is Steve Drain's 25-year-old daughter. For seven years, she joined in the family picket lines. You end up questioning who you are. Yeah. What's your place is in the world. Exactly. But I, Lauren I mean, dared to question the I church's methods. She started speaking to outsiders on the internet. For her sins, she was thrown out of the church. Well, if you're not allowed to ask questions, you can't have your own opinion, you can't have your own perspective, you can't, you know, think anything. You just have to go with what everyone's telling you. And they would say, I, you know, I'm 
evil for asking these things. She's no longer allowed contact with her sisters, Taylor and Faith, and her brother, Beau, who remain as faithful foot soldiers for the cause. That's our, that's our duty. We're called to cry aloud and despair not and to lift up our voice like a trumpet, show these people their transgressions. What sort of signs are you carrying? Like, um, God hates fags, God hates Easter, and like, um, uh, uh, Jews kill Jesus. Do you know what a fag is? Um, a fag is like a boy and a boy getting married and a girl and a girl getting married. You would never go back? No. Never. Even if it meant you will never see your family again? I hate that I have to be put in that position, but I will not sacrifice my life, my values, the person I am, just to be crazy like them. I, I just don't understand why hate has to be the overriding feeling. I mean, if you believe in God, then God doesn't hate, we're told. God actually loves. You can't believe the Bible or read the Bible without knowing that God Almighty mentions his hatred, his wrath, his indignation at the sins of mankind more than he talks about his love. So if you're a Bible preacher, you're preaching hate. Westboro Church may not have been shut down, but they've certainly been put in their place. 43 states in America have ruled their protests be restricted to designated areas, usually a long way from the action. <laughs> this tells me everything though, I think. I think this tells me everything. Everything you need to know? Yeah. That's because you're kind of myopic in your outlook. In Orlando, Florida, as an endless queue of cars crawl by for the launch of the next space shuttle, almost out of sight, Steve Drain and his crew of two and a half maintain their pathetic rage. Do you know what, Steve? I think everyone's ignoring you nope. here. Nope. This Every could be called the Whisperer Solution. A church with a hateful voice gets to have its say from a distance, and a nation gets to keep its freedom of speech. Uh, with all due respect, I, isn't your church simply failing? It's just... Failing? You, you haven't got... Your word is not getting across. No not one's, getting no across. One's changing, no one's changing their behaviour, it would seem, because you're still picketing every day, every yeah, night. Yeah, that's right. And furthermore, on the judgment day, they'll give an account for that. And they'll say, I, I, I didn't know I was doing wrong, and I'll step up and say, objection, Your Honor. They doggone good and well knew they were doing wrong because old brother Phelps was busy telling them <laughs> from the time he was 16 to lights out. Hello, I'm Liz Hayes. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.